Good morning everybody. Well I've done a bit of a sketch today ready just because I was in a bit of a hurry and today we're going to use one brush only and that's um, a size 2 mark brush for everything so let's get going. Just one brush all the way through if we can so we'll just put a bit of water on Get a bit of cobalt blue, shall we? You may add a little bit of ultramarine to it if you like. And just just tickle a little bit in, that's rather bright, isn't it? New brushes. Oh, look at everything's coming out of it. Never mind, eh? Okay, there we are. And uh, just have a. Can you see where I've gone there? Oh, a little bit lighter down here. Really light. The bit's coming out of the brush. It's a new brush, you see. Can you see? Oh, pieces. Pieces coming out. Oh my. Keep going. <laughs> Should have give it a really good wash, shouldn't I, before I started? Oh, okay. Here we go again. There we are. Anyway, it's a big plop, ploppy mop brush, and that's all we're doing. So we're going to do a, a really loose scene in the fashion of our friend Edward Weston used to do. So let's just not bother, just get it on. You notice sometimes if you mix this uh, light red into any blue, it, it, it uh, turns the blue into a grey, can you see, like the, a nice grey, can you see there, a lovely grey, so you, you don't need to like um, mix a grey, if you, if you mix your, put your light red on the paper, then you just, uh, oof, can't blame it, stuff coming out of the brush, mustn't have washed it properly, oh there we are, more coming out, I suppose it'll keep coming out, but it won't stop us, will it, here we go, take that off, Keeping it very light down here. There. Now we'll bring our roadway in with some uh, a little bit of umber, burnt umber. Oh, very light. A bit lighter than that. <laughs> it's still coming out of the brush. Never mind. Oh, look at it. I don't know whether what it is. Whether it's, it could be. Sometimes they put. Uh, a little bit of uh, soap or something, whatever it is, gelatine in the brush, don't they, to keep it pointed. And then um, it stays in the brush till you wash it out. Oh, my blimey, it's the life coming out. Look at that. Bumps of it. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so there we are. We've got that part done, haven't we? Uh, so, you, you know, we're only using a big brush. Let me just stop that. Stop it for a second. It won't be a sec. There, I think we're off again, are we? So there we are, up to there. Um, now then, we'll just pick up a little bit of burnt sienna. A little bit of burnt umber. And let's just... Crikey, Mikey. Huh? Oh, crikey. Whatever's this? Whatever's happening? Okay, of course we can see there now it's going to be rough edged, isn't it? Like that. Okay, so now we can, we, we can even just put a little bit of a yellow into here, a bit of cat yellow, say. Just for a bit of a variety. And that's, our, that's, that's okay, isn't it? Let's just cut round that and just have it coming. Coming up. God, there's no half some stuff coming out of this bush. There we are. Just bring it just around this corner. Like that. And let's just bring it level across there. And leave it like this. And we'll just put some 
grass in this area. What the heck is this coming out of this? Birds and all sorts. <laughs> oh god, we're getting there though, aren't we? <laughs> oh my god, blimey. I love the brush though, it's a lovely brush to use. Well, probably when it gets there. Uh, yeah, it's washed out properly, I suppose. Okay, let's have some nice bit of green in here. So we mix a little bit of the old, well, till I win the blue and a little bit of cad yellow, shall we? Yeah, you just have a little bit of my red to it. Take out. And we'll just have this uh, coming around that, that. Oh, oh, you. Have you ever known anything like this in your life? Could only happen to me. Look at them lumps coming out of it. Unbelievable. How long's this going to happen? Uh, I'm going to leave it on though. So we care. I'll just give it a good wash, see if we can get more out of it. Okay, not to bother. So I'll tell you what, let's get some burnt sienna, a little bit of burnt umber, and let's put some. Oh, oh. Oh God! Sorry about this. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. Just have to carry on. All them bits left all over there. They come off after, I suppose. It's got some kind of gelatine coming out of the brush. I wonder if I should have washed it in hot water first. Somebody tell me anyway, you're out there, you can tell me, can't you? Now I'll pick up a little bit of blue, ultramarine, and a little bit of light red. And we'll just have, we'll just have a little bit of a mountain in the back here, eh? See that point on it? Can you see a lovely, lovely point? I love this brush. Love it more when it's cleaned up. Oh my. There we are. <laughs> oh blimey, it's still happening. And there we are. Okay there. So our next step, let's um, let's get some uh, raw sienna to a best bet in it. Next. Raw sienna. You can add a little bit of cad yellow to it if you like. Now let's just see if we're clear for a, a nice run up here. Ah, that looks alright. Oh, they're coming out now. Oh yeah. All of that. Yeah. You know why I'm doing this, don't you? Because I'm going to put dark on the other side of the tree. Now it's buckling a bit though, the paper. Don't worry about that. When it's dry, that'll come out. It won't be buckling when it's dry. Now we're not branch it too much, that's uh, fatal this period of time. Just leave it like that. Okay, let's get some burnt sienna and see if we can just get around the back of this one. That's a bit too burnt sienna. That. Let's have a little bit of blue in it and knock it off. And I'm sorry, to cut round here. I'm very impatient. You know, I could have easily waited, couldn't I? Oh, 
and we just have the remainder of that tree and it back here. Oh yeah. Right. No, no, let's just balance him off a bit there. Okay. Um, that's okay for now. We'll just have a little bit of uh, ground sienna, add a little bit of cobalt to that. I'll just put a little darkish tree just here. There we are, like that. Let's see. And what we can make a contrast with that is put some darks around the back of it. Okay, so we'll darken up a little bit. Mix a little bit of green with a little bit of cad yellow and a little bit of Windsor. And add a little bit of burnt umber to it if you like till you get a green but not too far in away from what we are using. Just take these strips off this brush again which is, is troubling us. But don't worry about that, it's a brilliant brush. It's just that I think myself what it is, I think it's just the um, the stuff they put in the brush to shape it for sale. And it, it's continually coming out, working strips. See yeah. it? There we are. Okay, so now we can just go around. Well, it's a bit dark around there, but it would be okay. Okay, now we'll just have a few nice notes of that. Now, I'm only using the same brush all the time, but it's a lot of you see, you can get all you want with this. Oh, there we are. Just give it a rinse. Now let's get some strongish birds here this time, not to be afraid of it. And get some, some in here. Don't be afraid. Now then. Get some more strongish. If you want to have a, if you want to make that a little bit deeper red, add a bit of matter to it. And just oh, let's just take this stuff out. some nice green in here. So we'll take a bit of a bit of uh, right cad yellow and a bit of have it re have it deep with a bit of Windsor blue to make it dark. Let's just see how dark we're getting this. That's better. So we'll have it like as it's just coming over like that. See. Then just darken it a bit with a bit of umber and just let's just see if we can bring it across here like this. A bit more greener than that though. This word here. A bit more green. Now, what I'm just doing now is this area here will just get some darks into it. Uh, more or less the greens on a brownie cast here. I'm sorry if I'm in your way, I'm touching there. More coming out. Just that bit off there. A 
bit of dirt around there. Try and get out your way a bit. That's better. There we are. Now then, let's see. We could take this just a little bit around the back of there. Hope our heads are dry enough. Could you believe I get all this point is so pointed I can cut round like that, see? Hey, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that seems to be going all right. This wants some dark in here. Okay, we mess, I'm messing about too much. Let's just plan it on. So we've got some dark coming over. After all, we're doing a loose one, aren't we? Getting too tight at times. Like that. And we'll just get a little bit of dark green into this tree. You know the score to make that, you just use your blue and your cab yellow. A little bit of brown or something, it can't go wrong with that. Now that is just, do you find that? Just a little bit there, just a bit of variety, and well, you know what what we can do here. Let's get on a brownie cast now for our leaves over on this tree, big tree. Okay, a bit of burnt sienna. Then add some uh, ultramarine to it, or some cobalt. Okay, now let's just test this brush out for this. Now let's see. Um, what have we Just look at that stuff coming out. Sorry, that's a big piece. But don't be put off with that. The, the brush is okay. It's beautiful. I love it. Don't be put off with what you're seeing with me. Okay. Okay, everything's okay there. I'm just gonna just stop me a minute. Okay, so we'll carry on. Okay now. Um we'll bring in some burnt umber. And we'll have a little bit of sienna in that. Burnt umber. And a little bit of burnt sienna in it. And let's just see if we can... Uh, we'll just bring the all across here. Like this. And what we from that. That's it. Like that. And we can add a little bit more burnt umber to that. And add a little bit of ultramarine with that. And just to get some dark in it like that. Now, just leave that a bit more there. Just leave that as it is. Okay. Now our next thing is to get some branches in so we have to get some darks now from the branches of this tree here so we're going to mix some burnt umber as usual and we're going to put some ultramarine with it burnt umber and ultramarine and you get a nice dark just let's see just how dark we are we'll just bring down this side 
like that. Just there. And just to torch down that side. That's a little bit of dark there on it. A little bit coming into there. Just a bit of finishing off here and there. Not dry yet, I'm afraid. This is the, on the dark side, you see, so it's in shade, isn't it? So you have to have it shaded a bit. Sorry, it's off again. I don't know if it was bad for this for that. A bit more bright than there. And just a few spots where the light's catching, trees and up there. That looks some darkness. Some dark here. And there. Let's put some values in it. Well, <laughs> I've tried it with this brush continuous, but I do think it would be, it would be help, more helpful if you used it, uh, if you did use the rigger as well. <laughs> I do. But not to be outdone, I've been carrying on with it. Really, it's for big doing these. Uh, 
uh, washi type of paintings, isn't it? Really, these types of brushes, really. Which are ideal for that, aren't they? Well, anyway, we'll away with that, aren't we? <laughs> I've been covering everything up as I've been doing it. I've even not been able to see half of what I've done, have you? See, it's even coming out there now. I won't believe it. For very fine stuff. It's not that uh, it can't be done. It's the very, very fine branches, isn't it? Up here. Ah, if you get them so fine all the time, it would be okay. But you see, as soon as you have any weight on it, it goes thicker, doesn't it, in places. Just so you can see that better. The old, the little cottages. So I can do that right now. I just... The odd stalks in there. Now can I just sneak a little bit of of a rigger in. Just to put a little bit in there. Just even if it is wet. And when it was when it's dry, you paint these in here. The the couple of windows. I tell you when it's dry though, not when it's like I'm doing now when it's wet. I'm sorry, but I feel like there was stopping and starting this video thing. This doesn't work. And again, half a time, you think you've started it again when you look if it's you've not, you've not pressed the button, it's not started. When you come and you have a look, you've not you've missed half of the painting you're supposed to have done. So I'll try and stop it now. Bet it's funny that one. And there you are. Can you take a look at that? Give me a minute or two. What do you think? Okay, there you are. Ah, well. Mm. A bit bit tight.